<laughs> hey, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about AI and the human workforce, human workers. My name is Rodney. Hey, I'm Keith. And this, and this is, is Rodney Keith, Keith Rodney Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> yeah, it's basically whoever says it first. It's basically, I mean, all the official comp all the official stuff, these files, they're all saved RKR because we know what it is. Mm -hmm. Because we know what it is. But look, in these conversations, like Keith and I are just, we're just riffing. We're just, these are conversations that we have on the phone all the time. And occasionally, actually more frequently now, since we have an editor producer, these conversations are overheard. And third parties are like, you should just record these and like put them out for people to talk to. So, or talk, listen to? Listen to. Listen to. Talk about. Talk you about. Know, and hopefully it's entertaining at the Mainly very least. talk about. Like, this our, is really our, entertainment purposes. <laughs> our non-scientific views on all things. Our, 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 yeah, our feelings. We should talk about black holes and quarks next. But mm. in this one, we're going to talk about AI and human workforce. So there's this, the, the trend for AI right now is, is it's obviously hot and every company in the planet is trying to implement it, including... Most recently, fast food restaurants. Are you familiar with this, Keith? No. Well, yeah, that's so not true because I did uh, cover a large hamburger chain when I was in data and AI at our company, and um, we, there there were a lot of a lot of uh, meetings about uh, certain things to implement that would ultimately implement the basics of artificial intelligence. Yeah, and you got like. So the one, the first one that I heard of, and it's probably not the first one, but I, it was, might have been Domino's. They bought some uh, equipment from Detroit from a auto manufacturer to help automate their pizza making process by using the same kind of technology that had been used for cars for years and years. And it seems super cool and efficient, but then looking at uh, people fighting for like raising minimum wage and, and AI becoming good enough to actually make a pizza, like a robot or apparatus is making pizza and then maybe things like burgers. It's starting to put people out of jobs. So it's it's interesting to see this rise of technology and it's like, well, what's going to happen to this this entry level first line worker? I mean, oh, and another one is like order taking. You think about like Cortana, Siri, Alexa, Google Home, like all of these are really good with voice. And it's to the point now where one of them could take an order at a drive through drive up menu uh, for a, a restaurant. So it's like, it's really getting interesting. And a lot of people are really, really concerned. And I'm starting to be, and I don't know what the answer is. Like, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what people, are, what we're going to, like, what, what's going to come from it exactly and what we're going to do about it. But I, I think, think it's I fascinating. Think yeah, I think we're reaching a point with technological advancement is that those who are developing technological advances are moving much faster than those affected by it, right? Like it used to be that you had a line worker and then all of a sudden automated arms that were programmed, which would, you can really consider that artificial intelligence in a way, right? Like even right. though it... I mean, it's it's computer yeah, it's programming, not, right? It's not it's not learning new stuff, but um, you know, and it's not getting better. But you know, just it's replacing people. So now you need ten people instead of a hundred people to do things. But it took a lot longer for that stuff to come out over the last you know seventy years. Mm -hmm. Now these things are just happening, and what do people do, right? Like it takes takes too much money and too much time to get an education and do certain things, and maybe they don't have it and. Mm -hmm. You know, these low level jobs that, for, and this is like, I think it's a weird capitalist uh, quandary is you want higher profits, you want more people to buy stuff. Right. So GDP and go, but you need more jobs, but the company needs to lower cost and people are its higher or highest uh, cost of goods. So, yeah. Like I need to, I'm doing AI and all this stuff replaces those people. So now they don't have a job. Mm -hmm. and so they're not buying stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just weird. Well, you know, companies, companies, they employ people, but that's not their main function. Like you, they, they, their they main function is to do something, to do something. So if they that's can right. replace that with somebody, they can pay, they don't have to pay 30,000, 20, 60, 70, 120,000 a year. Why, why wouldn't they? And so that is going to affect jobs. Like jobs are going to tank and then there's going to be this whole class of people that just 
don't yeah i mean the, the workforce us, the workforce is just continuing to move in this direction of those who can think creatively are going to have an advantage. And then mm -hmm. that question is like, what's the, and that's where I think a lot of people are afraid of artificial intelligence. And I mean, let's really talk about where AI is today, right? Like, wait, real AI, quick, before you say that, I was wanted to ask you, did you see Sasha Baron Cohen just did a speech last weekend? I heard about it. It was pretty good. Um, I, I saw a headline, I didn't actually read it. And he, he called out the, Silicon Valley Five is like Zuckerberg and four execs at Google, you like across all the business sure. units. And he was just like, the problem, the main problem is that they've put profits over everything else. So they're creating all this amazing technology, but it's amazing to your point about them developing faster than people can consume and or figure out and or use. Like it's great for them, but is it really great for society? Like you look at Zuckerberg at Facebook with all, like all the yeah. stuff with the fake ads, like who did that really benefit? Well, right. Facebook. And the they people that bought the ads. That's right. The people who bought the ads. I like what Twitter is doing with that, um, where they're no longer charging for political ads. Um, so they can basically, they're no longer going to promote them with a higher algorithm because they're paid for. But Facebook oh. won't be able to. So you can so make them. Yeah. They, exactly. So mm -hmm. they, they're not going to be an algorithmic that's, priority. That's but it, it's a really, I mean, you talk about social responsibility. Like, I understand the corporate responsibility for profits, but yeah. now that's why you get the, you'll end up with this you, this growing lack of middle class because companies less and need less and less functional workers, right? You need specialty workers who can think, create, and do all of these other things. Mm -hmm. You don't need people who just work with their hands less and less over the last century. But that's bad for the economy, right? Like. It's but in the Joe, company. Joe Blow, Tina Su doesn't care about the. I mean, they care about the economy, but they don't care. Like they don't think and, they should prop it up. And the reality is, it's best for the company's interest to have people do these things, so more people stay employed, more people buy stuff, and for a company, like you, you've got you've, you, you need people to buy stuff. You need people. Well, to you're have saying money, that, right? but you're it's, saying that from a, a long term right? view, though, right? Yes. Not yeah. just a short term quarterly. Well, most people don't care. Term. Like, because yeah. short term, it's not better because they got to right. pay more money not, to employ those people. Right. So, like, that's the other side of that coin. Yeah, long term. I mean, yeah, I like I just having having more, you know. Uh, food trucks and, you know, service related independent business and thought like, I know it's cost of entry and it's, you know, naive at, in many cases, but having a distributed economy that's more local, I think is, is the only way that the, I mean, the, it's happening. It is. You, you it's see happening. it, which is maybe, maybe it's a direct result of, let's call it AI. I mean, like right now, Uber and Lyft are huge, but when automated cars come along, that's going to be a huge workforce then back to figuring it out. But to your point, if you're creative, if you have multiple streams of income, if you have multiple things you're doing, multiple things you can do, then you're insulated. And and really this problem, like it doesn't just, it's not only the first line worker, like eventually it'll be the information worker as well, because if AI actually becomes cogent, like then it could do what I do and way more efficiently it, and way far more efficiently. targeted at a specific task right yeah so yeah. ai man ai uh in the comments are you for ai or not ai yeah. yay or nay mm. and then we'll talk about skynet in the we'll talk about skynet taking over in, the, in another girl. session um <laughs> <Wait>. deuces <laughs>